everyone, my name is Dipanka and welcome to this new video. In this video, I am going to introduce you to a new open source project called Project Nessie and help you get started with setting up a new Nessie server to basically start your data as a code journey. So let's go. Project Nessie is a transactional catalog for data leaks. It brings the concept of Git and GitHub to the world of data and specifically to data leaks. So now you can take advantage of things like branching, tagging, and merging from the version control world and apply the same to the data engineering space. As of now, Nessie is created to work with major data lake table formats such as Apache Iceberg and Delta Lake. So you can basically run a Nessie server using a Docker image, AWS Lambda, or fork the project on a GitHub. So why would you need something like Nessie, right? Well, there can be a couple of things. First, you know, you might want to do some isolated work. For example, a bad job, let's say a distributed Spark job, is writing to a table and you don't want users to see any incomplete changes or make sure it doesn't impact any production data, right? So things such as like those of which are isolated and also things like data quality checks and stuff can be done using different branching concept in, Ness in Nessie. Second, reproducibility. Well, in the machine learning world, one of the important and crucial part is to reproduce the results of a machine learning model based on different data sets used for training and testing, right? So how do we reproduce the results of a machine learning model if we don't have a data versioning tool, right? So Nessie brings that kind of ability to the world of ML. Another use case in the ML space is the ability to do experimentation, right? You want to use your own branch to run some experiments against the data, test what happens after a particular ML job is you know, done and how the results of the experiment are. So if you like the experiment, you can basically merge that particular branch to the main branch or if you don't like it, you can just drop that experiment. So Project Nessie in a way eliminates the need for hard manual work in managing the files and provides a consistent view of the data in the production environment. So now let's quickly see how to basically set up a Nessie server from the Docker image supplied. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull the Docker image because we are going to install Nessie via the Docker way. So let me quickly just pull the Docker image and you know once we have it here, Okay, so it, it says we already have the latest version. So that means we already have the, you know, the image as of now that we need it, right? So that helps us validate that the image is being pulled. And once we pull the image, we are going to you know, start that particular, uh, you know, Nessie project. So as of now, as you can see, there are a couple of things happening. And once we are done executing this particular part, we should see that this particular server should be listening on, you know, port 19120, right? So if I go in, if I can like, copy this particular part and open up in my URL, I can see that my Nessie web UI is opening as we would expect, right? You can also see it in the particular terminal that here we see a Nessie server image as, as we saw it here, okay? So as of now, there is only one branch, which is the main branch. And you know, our whole point from this tutorial would be to add and create a new branch, okay? so. For that, once the Docker image is up and running, we will need to install the Nessie CLI uh, interface. So in order to do that, I'm going to install the Nessie CLI interface over in this particular terminal. So the command is pip install pynessy. And once we do that, we should be able to use and utilize Nessie using the command line, right? So one of the first thing that I'm going to do here is to create a new branch and validate whether I can see that branch over in the interface. And based on that, we can do a further work. So to do that, there are a couple of command, but if you want to see what are the command available for you, you can just say Nessie help. Oh, sorry, it's going to be Nessie double dash help. Okay, so these are the various options that we have available. For example, like, you know, we have the ability to create branches. We have to we have the ability to cherry pick things when we are going to do things like write, audit, publish. And then we can also, you know, do various other things like merging of the branches and tagging of the different data set, et cetera. So for the starter case, I'm going to just, you know, create a new branch by saying Nessie branch and give it a name, which call my experiment. Okay. And once we have this command executed, if I refresh this particular web UI, I should see two now. That means I now have two different branches. One is the main, which is the default branch, but then there is also the experiment branch, which is called my experiment, which I just created. And from this, now you have the Nessie server running what we can do is we can carry on with our work of like, for example, like, you know, isolated, uh, you know, uh, distribution job works, or we want to do, produce some results in a machine learning model, whatever it is, we can continue from here. 
So that is basically a high level overview of what Nessie is and how basically you can get started with setting up a Nessie server. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.